Okay, let's find the absolute, without a doubt, best tweets of May. Submitted by you, reviewed by all of us. Uh, player cards, Pride player cards in Valorant. You can now have a Pride player card in Valorant. And then Kaylee here says, now my teammates will know what slur to call me. <laughs> Which is a good roast on the extremely toxic Valorant voice chat community. <laughs> League's not as bad. League is toxic, but I've realized that being toxic over chat is like, voice chat's so annoying. Because in Valorant, you also need comms. In League, you can mute everybody, shut the fuck up, and get Grandmaster. This might be the funniest picture I've ever taken. I'm just saying you should Goku to prom with me. <laughs> and it's in the trash. <laughs> it's in the trash. <laughs> oh, man. This, this image tells a story. So this is a big story. This is a big story of May. Bill Gates, formerly the world's richest person, still one of the top three people in wealth in the entire world announced his divorce. He asked for space and privacy for our family as we begin to navigate this new life. And the internet said no. <laughs> the internet said, fuck no, we're gonna make fun of it. So the next couple tweets are all about Bill Gates' divorce. <laughs> uh, Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates both realized marriage is a union and left expeditiously. <laughs> Which is just, I wish I thought of this tweet. <laughs> I wish I thought of this tweet. This is just a beautiful, ah, chef's kiss. Uh, and then lover host feet Bill Gates powered by Cash App. <laughs> Hashtag lover host. If you're interested, get on DM Austin show. <laughs> Just Bill Gates talking to fucking Amaranth. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite pictures of all time. And it's not from uh, May, but they tweeted it in May. The greatest pick from the pandemic one year ago. How the fuck am I an essential worker? <laughs> from like the first month of the pandemic. I, this is, I want to frame this. I think this is one of the funniest fucking tweets of all time. I, I, I think it's the fun of the picture is so good, bro. What the fuck is she talking about? Uh, the question in everyone's mind, is there going to be a third date? I am simply begging straight men to try harder than athletic shorts and a spring training t-shirt on a date. I'm ready to go to the baseball game. <laughs> He's only missing this. All right, first date with Ari, okay? I took her to a hockey game. I showed up in a tux. Tux, fedora. I handed her a corsage like it was prom. Yeah, that's how you, that's how you get commitment for life. Symphony. <laughs> we had different expectations for date night. Happy Valentine's Day. And Brooke is dressed to the fucking nines. And he's got this shit on. Bro, there is a line. Just because you fucking play Warzone well. <laughs> That's a true gamer, though. Socks and sandals, bro. I can't. <laughs> this was a great tweet. Atrioc is daddy by uh, up and coming content creator Ludwig Ogren. That's a good tweet. Uh, today's an important day for me. 15 years ago, Warcraft and a good friend saved my life. I was badly addicted to amphetamines and had nowhere to go. I got this email from my guild leader, Tremaine. I heard you might be homeless soon. My parents have offered to let you live with us, and there's a college right outside the back of my house that I'll be going to in September. You're welcome to come along. If you're interested, just get enough cash to get a flight over here. We'll pick you up from the airport. This is a serious thing, and I'm not just saying it for the hell of it. If what I heard was wrong, then forget it. But if not, get your ass over here. Talk to you soon. I took him up on his offer, moved to England, and got sober. His family was welcoming but tough and put me to work. I've been sober for 15 years today. Thanks, Danny. That is one of the coolest fucking stories I've heard in all of gaming. And really, the I mean, this is obviously great from the guy uh, and from his guild, but the, the other guy's parents. The other guy's parents who said, yes, your friend you know from World of Warcraft can come stay with us. That I mean, there's a lot of heroes in this story. I hate they make us do this ourselves. <laughs> the crust. <laughs> he cut the crust off. <laughs> Do not follow me. <laughs> what a hero. Just fucking ruins a hundred dollar bill and says, don't follow me. <laughs> Flames. You, me, my place tonight. <laughs> bill, come on. Get your head out of that funk, man. This was the most insane stage of the pandemic. <laughs> Is he baptizing that child with a squirt gun? Dude, he looks like he's fucking shooting to kill. 
Look at this serious expression on his face. It also included drive-bys. <laughs> Holy sh... Yeah, it's like Agent 47 in costume, bro. <laughs> it's like Agent 47 knocked out a priest. So the Queen of England is newly single and suddenly Bill Gates gets a divorce. They really attacked Bill Gates from every possible angle. <laughs> Bill Gates asked for a little bit of privacy <laughs> and got roasted in the most creative ways. <laughs> Uh, you heard of unpaid internships, but have you heard of reverse finance internships? What is this? <laughs> Note, this is a reverse finance internship, so you will pay $15 an hour to work here. Holy shit! That is a good idea! Hey, Antrock Enterprises is now hiring. We actually have a whole suite of reverse finance editor positions. Okay? And to make it even more fun, if multiple people, multiple people apply, you guys can bid against each other. So whoever offers more money hourly can get the job. Quack, throw your hat in the ring. Come on, Quack, toss in a, what's a bid from you? <laughs> what will you pay me? All right. <laughs> Next level social distancing game. Man arrested for training dog to throw bricks at people ringing his doorbell. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Oh my fucking God. That's terrible. <laughs> Damn, they got a, he's got a fucking chonker of a bite, though. All right, just a normal 9 p.m. on a Saturday. Well, it looks like Home Depot doesn't have what I'm looking for. Does that mean we get to go home now? And they go to... <laughs> oh, I actually fucking hated this. I fucking hate going to Lowe's and Home Depot with my father as a child. I hate it. I didn't even have a phone. What, what, what do I get? I'm so bored. At least you got a phone, bro. I think what I would do, don't do this, by the way, is I would go around, there'd be the aisle where they have like every different type of screw, and I would take a little bit from one and put it in another one. I don't know, just, <laughs> just cause, you know? What y'all know about luxury? <laughs> Holy shit. Pimp my ride, 2021. Hey, come over. My parents aren't home. Sorry, just put a 16-hour brisket on. This guy... Got... Wait, 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 what? Wait. They didn't even have the third panel. <laughs> the toilet is this way, but do not let the cats out. Keep closed. <laughs> See, this is a good cat photo. <laughs> Look at the cat's expression. Please. This is a cat that has escaped before is trying to escape again. No, and everyone in the chat saying, Sag, let him out, are the assholes that let this cat out into the street. <laughs> you are the reason they need this sign. The rule is now simple. Get vaccinated or wear a mask until you do. The choice is yours. <laughs> I can hear it in his voice, but I don't disagree. It is phrased like a saw quote. <laughs> the choice is yours is probably... <laughs> The official Arthur fan page asked people to wish Mr. Rapper and his husband a happy two-year anniversary, and the comments are a journey. Happy anniversary. Your marriage seems better than mine ever was. <laughs> How are they celebrating two years when Arthur is still in the fourth grade? Actual good point. Congrats, boys. Congrats is short for consummated gay rat wedding. <laughs> Stop TikToking. The peak has been reached. If TikTok is. Happy Star Wars Day, everyone. Today is also my birthday. And because it's my birthday, I get to introduce you to my girlfriend. Everyone, today is also my birthday. And because it's my birthday, I get to introduce you to my girlfriend. Everyone, today is also my birthday. And because it's my birthday, I get to introduce you to my girlfriend. One today is also my birthday. And because it's my birthday, I get to introduce you to my girlfriend. Hey, everyone. Today is also my birthday. Marcus, you don't want to do this. Let her go. That's such a roast. Holy sh! The entire internet came together. Uh, the Epic versus Apple trial is going well. I retweeted this. This is an actual real <laughs> dialogue from a courtroom trial between Apple and Epic. And what do we have here? Is a large yellow banana here, don't we, in a tuxedo? Yes, that's Peely. And that's Peely, you say? Yeah. And in fact, in the tuxedo, he's known as Agent Peely, correct? <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> we thought it better to go with the suit than the naked banana, since we are in federal court this morning. 
We talked about Peely, our banana. Remember that? I do. And there might have been an implication to show that Peely without a suit would have been inappropriate. Do you recall that? Yes. Is there anything inappropriate about Peely without a suit? No, there is not. <laughs> if we could put on the screen a picture of Peely, is there anything inappropriate about Peely without clothes? It's just a banana, ma'am. <laughs> This is a real transcript. This is real. The founding fathers created our legal system so we could do this 300 years later. And what's funny is this, this lawsuit has like billions of dollars on the line and probably the future of how we regulate monopolies, tech monopolies in this country. <laughs> and we're talking about fucking Peely being naked. <laughs> this one I responded to because it was a tweet from The Verge that said, NVIDIA's new broadcast update filters the sound of a billion sex-starved cicadas. And it's a picture of my face. <laughs> I responded and said, that's not really our key feature. <laughs> and I just wonder why this was their headline. Because <laughs> we didn't mention cicadas at all. At all. <laughs> just that it filters sound. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I really don't know. But thank you, The Verge. Oh, this one was good. Wait, <laughs> this one was actually good. <laughs> Hey, Cameron, it's Cole. We spoke at the bar last night and you gave me your number. Hey, sorry, dude, this isn't Cameron. She was either drunk or just gave me the wrong number. Damn, that hurts. <laughs> and then a year later, hey, it's Cameron from the group project. Did you add a bibliography? <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Ooh. Hungry Box had a tweet where it was just this picture of Wario and then Dogecoin price tanking. <laughs> A pretty good HBox tweet, to be honest. <laughs> That's what I was looking at when I was watching the fucking show. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, the robber barons of the 20s? Like, fucking Carnegie <laughs> in a fucking Wario outfit? <laughs> like, the fact that the richest, one of the richest people in the world dressed up like this. That's so funny. This is not a one-sided movement. We support everyone on this journey. We'll be happy for Doge when it hits $1. We'll celebrate when BNB takes over the world, when ETH bull runs hard and BTC hits 100K. We're all in this together on our journey to the safe moon. <laughs> Tweets like this are proof that crypto is astrology for men. And it absolutely is. <laughs> this fucking apes together, safe moon. Hashtag safe moon is the most fucking cringy, scammy shit. Because it implies that it's safe. It implies that there's no risk to it so that they get stupid people to invest. Safe Moon is the most cringy shit I've ever seen. Please do not buy into this bullshit. Some crypto will run up and some people will make money. And if you have a high risk tolerance, go for it. But there's no Safe Moon and most of this shit is absolutely <laughs> unsafe in, in a massive way. Ninja deleted it? Ninja deleted the Brawless Wife tweet? Oh my God, I was going to give it. Ninja, you fucked up, bro. I was going to give you tweet of the month. I was in the middle of my bronze ranking Overwatch match and my bra wearing wife actually brought me divorce papers not asked for with a box to pack all my stuff up as I got killed for the 14th time having only gotten one kill the entire match. Glad your day is going better. <laughs> and that's how we end. That was best tweets of May. If I'm going to give one the winner, it'll probably be that Baskin Robbins employee one. Even though that wasn't from May, it's the funniest thing I've seen in May and one of the funniest tweets I've seen of all time.